All right, welcome back. Now, time for us to talk about breastfeeding. Now, according by information, according by statistics, they talk say only 23%, 23.7% of women, for instance, Wobodo, Nigeria, they actually practice exclusive breastfeeding. Now, if you even um, took I for that, you go find out, say, women from the north, the reduction is dramatically um, too appalling. And a lot of women for the north know they actually practice exclusive um, breastfeeding. And that's now why we actually get this Kajat guest in the house. She now lactation consultant. Join me, welcome, Titi Layo Medunoye. I know say I'm mother your name, did I? No, I got it. <laughs> I'm not sure at all. Please, can you help me pronounce it well? It's Titi Layo Medunoye. Medunye, yes. She's going to talk about breastfeeding, a foundation for life. Good to have you. Thank you so much for having yeah, me. Welcome to this live. Uh, so today, or yesterday, actually, in Ambien starts the, uh, the World Breastfeeding Week to create awareness uh, for breastfeeding and, uh, you know, lactation in children. Uh, so first of all, we've been to get this in-house, uh, you know, ag not argument, but discussion. How long do you think should be the proper, or medically, how long are the proper period when mothers supposed to exclusively, supposed to even breastfeed their children for? Well, I would say exclusively first. Mm -hmm. For exclusively, we say at least six months. Okay. People say between four to six months. But we sure say by that six months, the baby body go don't develop well, mm -hmm. where the baby go feed the chop other things. Then for continuous until, say before you go stop, finally, finally, we say at least try and make it reach two years. Okay. Two years before you stop. Yes. Now, with the awareness and with the um, plenty talk with the other they do on how exclusive breastfeeding is very important, why be say women still not the practice? Um? Well, what would they say these days? Be saying, number one, people don't really get time again. Life not dead the way it did before. You understand? People don't really get time. A lot of people, a lot of mothers are working these days. Office where you go, go and I know go see where they go say, okay, oh, take this small space where you go feed the pump. Or take this fridge, where you go fit pump, keep your breast milk. I don't hear people when they tell me, say, ah, they pump, oh, they put milk for free, then before they come, my person not take and drink tea. Uh, <laughs> are you serious? So I'm telling you, are you serious? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm serious. Wow. I'm okay. serious. So, person not take and drink tea. So, people not just, office is not just there. <laughs> You know, palatable like that. Many person just say, okay, make I pump, make I keep for here. Another thing they say, say even the maternity leave. Mm. I hear say government they try to move them up to like four or six months, yes. but corporate organization only three months. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it had make mothers even say they want to even arrange themselves. Even if they say they don't even want to do exclusive before they even say they want to arrange themselves. You know, to even go and start um, seeing how they can go back to work and pump and do all those things. That's one is a problem. Another thing where we see the way they happen be same, people not really get knowledge. So they just feel say, like we were talking about the north. What yeah. did they happen for there? Be saying, not so that they drink kunu a lot for that side. Mm -hmm. And uh, this uh, fura and all those things. Mm -hmm. So that's not milk. So they just say, oh, na milk, oh, na milk. You understand? But they don't really just get the understanding of why it is very necessary, mm -hmm. which is why we see that these days. And it's very, it's very, very sad because even in, the, in Africa, and you know, Nigeria is one of the least country that is practicing exclusive breastfeeding. That's quite interesting. Now, also, I know say, I've been not here you speak before, and you've been talking about um, some challenges with some mothers they get when mm. it comes to breastfeeding. And you even talk, you know, talk about from experience, you've been mm. giving your own experience. So I would like to make you educate us more about some of these challenges and how you take overcome your own challenges before you can't take, uh, use that opportunity to educate more people um, about that, you know, the issues of breastfeeding. Okay, I'll start with myself first. What yeah. may happen to say, after I born, in like 2015, I really, really, they say, show me Pepe. You know, this breastfeeding thing, people know they talk and say, oh, if you had, though, if you get a CBO, make you know how to go take prepare yourself. Well, nobody, they really, they talk calm like that. So I wasn't prepared. Nobody told me about it. You know, but as I, as I begin the, you know, as I started, I said, ah, I'm going to get a CBO. I started looking for, for help. And I found a lactation consultant in the US. Before that, I said, I don't even know, say, people they do work like lactation consultants. So now she can't even you know, put me through, help me do all those things. By the time I can't come back to Nigeria, I can't say, ah, nobody they do this thing for Nigeria. And they get some things where they take that time, all this lactation tea, lactation cookies. I can't say, nobody they do this thing for Nigeria. Make me safe, begin to do this thing, make her they help people. Because people say, if they come, they meet me. It just happens, say, everybody will just there around me, just to say, ah, breastfeeding this or breastfeeding that. So I thought, I said, okay. Me, now what I use with this, you self take and use. You know, so after much research, 
I can't set up Milky Express. So with, now what's Milky Express they do with that? You know, will they help, will they make products, will they help women, they breastfeed well, well. Another thing what will they do, because they, after I begin to make those products, I can't say, people, they ask me deep, deep questions, where I don't really feel understand because I don't know about them. So I can't get, need to go further my education on breastfeeding, where I can't receive my certificate as a lactation consultant. But what do you America. mean by breastfeed well, well? And still, what do you mean that challenge is where you face? People, okay. I need to understand them. Okay, I'll, go, I'll give you different examples. Yes, please. One of the issues that people face could be latching issues. What do people not know, be say, under breast, under bra, eh, people get different types of breasts, different shapes, different sizes. Mm -hmm. you know, different people get different types of nipples, different shapes, different sizes. Okay. And the kind of nipple that you get can affect the way you breastfeed. You're not going to know. But people don't know, say, I, see one, I had a consult with one client about two weeks ago. And I can't say, I can't say, ah, but now this is your nipple, you know, come out the way it's supposed to come out. The woman say, eh, ah, she don't know, say. That's a problem. She says that's how it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so issues like that will affect breastfeeding. How? The milk now okay. will come out? No, because the waiting. milk now will come uh -huh. out. For example, now a person will get flat nipples or inverted nipples. Mm? The baby not go feel, hold on, the baby not go feel latch on the breast very well. So maybe the baby go just, they bite half. So if the baby not latch on well, the baby not go feed come out milk very well, number one. The even the mother self would get injuries for a nipple. I don't see mothers where they bleed for their nipple before, or where they get blister or breast go. So the different things they happen. Mm -hmm. Something too where they happen to be infection. Person get infection for breast. It's called mastitis. Mm -hmm. Where breast go swell. Maybe milk ducts go they blocked. You no know, go milk no go they pass out. Mm -hmm. The milk they inside but you no know, go come out. That's another thing where people they face. Another thing where people they face now maybe supply issue. And we see, say, people where they get, as people they grow up, as, as girls they go through their puberty years, how they grow up, the kind of environment, if maybe they're exposed to chemicals, all those things they affect puberty, all those things they affect the development of their breasts. So those things where they inside the breast, we're supposed to help you to produce that milk, their own no go feed develop very well. Those, that, that's something that we call insufficient glandular tissue. Mm. You know, you no go produce, you no go develop very well. So you go find, say, for future, they go feel they have one or two problems to breastfeed. So it's a problem where a lot of women don't even know about. It's a problem. Another thing, say people, most people where they get, most people where they get uh, fertility issues too. Where they see, say sometimes some of them go they get breastfeeding issues. It's quite quite interesting. Wow. So now, um, you know, for how long you don't, uh, you know, for how long have you been a lactation uh, a consultant? 2016. 2016. So now about two years. And within that period, like how many, how many, let's like say, how many cases, how many people now you don't actually come to you where you don't, uh, when I don't educate more concerning, um, you know, lactation issues? Like what's the, what, what's the? Ah, there are plenty. Oh. <laughs> there are plenty. So we see people face to face. Mm. We also do community outreach where we go into communities, teach them about breastfeeding. You know, they will ask questions. They come out in their numbers. Mm -hmm. And we're also on social media. You know, Milk Express is also on social media. So we have, Quite a large following of women that you know that we interact with. They ask us problems. We even see people where they for outside Nigeria, and they go send us email. Oh, so they want to do Skype. Oh, so they want they get problem. They don't understand what they go do. People for outside for African countries, Ghana, you know, Kenya, South Africa. People they reach out from different different parts of. So the in world. your years of interaction with women mm -hmm. and where they actually go through challenges as regards to breastfeeding, which would be the most um, frequent problem? you don't receive from women hmm. okay i would say the most frequent problem where i don't hear now now two things one i'd be say milk no plenty for the picking for the breast for the breast. milk not plenty. Milk no plenty okay which is one of the things that milky express does we make products that can help you know to enhance and to increase the quantity of that breast milk okay another thing where would they hear be say baby no latch on well latch na sock right Lat no latch na now, nah, when you to put them out, to put exactly. the mouth well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and that one on your own, if it costs many other things, that one on your own, if it costs make your milk supply not plenty, that one on your own will cost make the baby not grow well, that one on your own will cost make the man man gets injury for the nipple, that one if it costs make she they bleed, that one will cost make she get gets infection because the milk not go feed they come out well. You understand? So, those are the two major. Things, what would they say? Okay, now I know that you don't already talk about um, you know the, the, the kind of effect with this um, you know when babies know they latch on latch on well you don't talk about the kind of things where they cause them if it be the, the, the shape of the breast, the shape mm -hmm. of the nipple, nipple and all of that. But they get is, is they get, is there anything where they feel do to help the baby to you know to latch on well or to help uh will I say adjust mm -hmm. 
the mm, way the positioning. The, 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 the positioning mm. of the mother's breast or the nipple. Yes. Uh, so in that regard, it gets us what they feed. Different positions they where person feel you stay breastfeed. Most people now this one we know because now what do they see for TV mm -hmm. that. But what do we even the advice as lactation consultants we say the kind of if you get person we get very big breast not supposed to breastfeed like this because it go just day for everywhere for the picking fish. You understand? Another thing we say people we get like maybe they get flat nipple or inverted nipple they get it gets something where we they use called the nipple shield or latch assist. Mm -hmm. If you put them now like rubber something like this, if you put them for the nipple on top of the breast, it goes serve like oh. elongation for the nipple. But the two mm. we they see now, say for this whole nipple, flat nipple, or inverted nipple, or halabi say, as the picking they suck, they go they come out. The more way they suck, the more way they go they come out. Mm. So which way per, per the way get and um, big breast we actually hold the picking? Because we were taught that this is the right way to feed the child. You were taught? Yes. Yeah. Oh yes. Okay. Yes. I wasn't taught. <laughs> <laughs> Not you. You know the woman now. But which way per we get like big breast we actually? One of the ways the surprise way you get big so it make you put the baby. If you put pillow like this, or use nursing pillow, come put the baby for style. Okay. Like this. No, so mm. the baby gets more room. But here the leg don't already block. Mm. The baby get more room. Another thing we say, we say the person feel lie down. We lie down for his side. The baby go fit, you know, move your own head. Because here no space. Already the baby don't put a head for here. Mm -hmm. So no space to really adjust. You understand? I totally like that. So let's talk about the importance of breastfeeding. Why are they very important? Of wow. exclusive breastfeeding. Exclusive breastfeeding. One of the, I will tell you one of the major reasons why we say make mothers try to do exclusive at least four to six months. You see, when a baby is born, little time, the digestive system not be like our own. It not be like our own, where we say we feed the chopper, but we feed the chopper, all those things. And a baby's immunity is very, very low. So one thing with breast milk they do be say, breast milk would they help develop that digestive system, make it for this strong, make it for prepare them so they chop other foods. Another thing way they, they do be say, breast milk they increase the picking immunity very very well, so that all that uh, said maybe they sick, maybe they go hospital, maybe don't want to, maybe don't want to, you know go really hear that one for baby where they exclusively breastfeed, we increase the immunity very well. Mm. We hear say. Um, a lot of um, children when they die for Nigeria these days, a lot of young babies under the age of 30 days, malnutrition and uh, diarrhea. Mm -hmm. Person would wonder, say, why they baby? Up, yeah, I mean, hey, they get, they get diarrhea? Because they don't they give them pap. I, to, I, I, to, I completely that's, like that's this. That's a deep point. I, I, I would have, uh, I for say, if we continue this interview because it's very educating and uh, so many things where I should say many people don't even know before. Very true. Done a lot. But mm. we know, say, uh, very, very soon, you say, uh, make you expect you get uh, a program coming on very soon. Yes. Could you actually, tell us a little bit, you know, in 30 seconds, tell us more seconds. about it. Actually, the event is this, now this Saturday we do um, for Tony Street, Ikeja, our place event center. What we do, we say, as part of World Breastfeeding Week and as part of a company where they support breastfeeding women, we like to bring women together every year like this to celebrate breastfeeding. People will get problem, oh, when they come that day, we go see them one-on-one, -on -one, try to help them with their problem. People will get questions, oh, when they come that day. People will want buy, maybe you want, you know, Sabi, all these breastfeeding things, maybe you want buy something, everything will be there. People will want advice. In fact, this year, we will get a lot of people where they come help us, where they come work with us. People will do free breast cancer screening, People go do free eye tests. People go do free health check. All these things, all this uh, blood pressure, all those things, they go mm -hmm. day, day, they go do and free for people. Now, what do you mean, do with that? Because we see, say, people where they're outside, we're not really, number one, they don't really get the education, they don't really get the exposure. So they try to gather everybody together. Mm -hmm. Make them for right. Very quickly, how people go for reach uh, Milky Express if they want on social media? You on social media? Yes, we're on social media as Milky underscore Express. On, tw on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, we are at Milky Express Company. When and our website is Milky, okay. www.milkyexpresscompany.com. When will this event, what date again? It's on the 4th of August, this Saturday. On the 4th come. of August. We can also, you can also reach us, our phone number is 090 911 right, thank you very much. Now, just the last question. If a woman extracts, mm. is it part of exclusive breastfeeding? It is now. Okay. The cocoa nine is made the baby just get the breast milk. If you don't chop the milk, they go exactly. like that. I mean, I get plenty of people for an office, not put the extracted breast milk for fridge. They always are drinking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so hey, much. Hey, this is a you are, you are taking good things. <laughs> to enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.